We are at the uh, Manitoba First Nations School System, and uh, my name is Rockford McKay. I'm the uh, science facilitator here. The uh, Manitoba First Nations School System is uh, the, the first uh, First Nations school division in Canada, and we serve uh, 10 communities in, in Manitoba. So uh, we are responsible for uh, the uh, kindergarten to, to grade 12 uh, education for those 10 communities. Uh, what I do here is I'm the uh, science facilitator. So I, uh, I help uh, teachers implement uh, their, their science programs and, uh, and, and help them with the curriculum, but, but also uh, do uh, classroom demonstrations. Um, we also have uh, resources that uh, they normally wouldn't have on, on hand. One, uh, one of the, the resources that uh, we like using is a, uh, a portable planetarium. And uh, I'll go to uh, school to school with that, with that planetarium and uh, share a, a lot of the uh, indigenous knowledge of, of uh, the star teachings and, and star knowledge with the uh, staff and students. Um, it, normally it, it, it would be very hard for uh, a lot of our communities to, uh, to come to Winnipeg and, and, uh, and, and do those kind of activities. So uh, it's much easier for us to, to go to the school with, with, with that type of equipment and, and do that. Um, we, uh, we also, I also help with uh, a lot of our teachers, as I said, implement uh, science programming. Um, a lot of them feel uh, not as comfortable teaching science. They, they, they don't have a, a lot of background in science, so I, uh, I help them show that, that science is, is really, they're, they're, they're really experienced in doing science. A lot of times they just don't realize it. Um, they, they, we do science every day or, or see science every day and, and experience science, so I, I try to bring that out. Um, what I find uh, that is, is very helpful to our schools is, is showing um, how students and, and staff, as I say, use science, but, but science is, is really um, happening at, at the local level. So I, I try to make a lot of the, the the activities locally relevant. It's a wide range from um, covering land-based education all the way up to doing chemistry and physics in, 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 in high school. So we do, uh, we do all, all sciences. Our, our big uh, activities of the year is, is doing the Manitoba First Nation Science Fair. Now that has been uh, happening. This is, this will be the 18th year and uh, we first started out, and I recall uh, starting out very small. It was uh, Rudy Subadar's uh, brainchild back at, at uh, the Manitoba First Nations Education Resource Center, and I, I was uh, a staff member there at the time as well. And uh, he had uh, a lot of experience doing science fairs at, even at the uh, provincial level. So he wanted our, our students to, uh, the, to have this experience as well. So we, we started the, uh, the science fair at that time, and I think we had, it was about 20 projects, and, and it was only a, a few schools that, that were initially involved. And the big thing that, that we noticed was uh, not only staff, but students were uh, a little reluctant in, 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 to, to try this out. And once we, uh, we started doing science fairing, schools would, would come in the next following years, they, they would come, students would, would see what was going on and, and they'd come back and say, well, I can do this too. So it, it started to grow. And uh, over the years from that, uh, that small start, we, we would have 500 students coming to, uh, to our science fair, so it, uh, it, uh, it was a, a real uh, success that, that we saw, and, and that success is, uh, you know, student, that, that many students coming, for, for one thing, and, and uh, 
students realizing that, yeah, science is, is fun to do. It, uh, it's part of their, their everyday lives, and it, it's, uh, it's uh, something that, that, uh, that they can aspire to do. Um, I think looking back at, at what I do with the uh, programs, I, I, I try to show not only, again, not only teachers, but students that uh, we were scientists in, in the past as well. Our ancestors were scientists. There's, there's this um, notion that uh, we didn't do science. And uh, I always tell them, well, if we didn't do science we, or in engineering, we, we couldn't have survived in, in, in these harsh climates. Um, I would bring a lot of uh, our tools and, and, and our inventions to, to show them, say, for instance, a, a snowshoe that, uh, that uh, engineering involved was, was incredible, and it, it solved problems that they had in, in, in their, their lives. So that is a, a cornerstone of, of engineering. If there's a problem, you have to gain knowledge to solve and, and to, to solve problems in everyday life, so that knowledge gained is is really is really and their their methods that they use was was science as, as well. So they gain knowledge, they use that knowledge to solve a problem. Um, they they had uh, research as well. They knew how the the sky and the, the astronomy of the sky. So they, they, they were astronomers, they were navigators. Um, so this, this, they were biologists, so they, they, they were scientists. And there's uh, a notion a lot of times that our, our students aren't able to do in-depth science because maybe there's not an aptitude. So I, I, I try to change that and, and say, no, we were scientists, we were engineers. And once students start doing it, they they uh, they see that they they can enjoy those those sciences. That's a a, a very uh, interesting question, and uh, it's a question that uh, we we uh, we really look at. And and a lot of uh, educators have such a wide uh, view on it. And my my view is just. Uh, uh, one one such view. Um, I th I think what's what's important, or for for myself, is is I look at uh, indigenous perspectives and, and how I how I live today and how we live today. Um, heritage, of, of of course, is is part of how we live today. So traditional knowledge very important and that that point that we were scientists in the past is is very true that's that's our heritage now when we look on how we live today it, it's quite different than how we lived 200 years ago so we need to bring that perspective and and how do we use it today to let's say to survive and and to to prosper um in, in education, one of the uh, the, the the points of, of education is how um, are we going to use this education to, to live to survive. So if if we look say in in, in northern Manitoba or, or any any of our, our communities in in Manitoba, what are let's just think about uh, job prospects and uh, where do, where can students go to to, to get uh, jobs. Now, in, in Manitoba, in hydro, very important. Uh, who are getting these hydro jobs? Um, trades are, are very important uh, up north. I've been, um, you know, being, I've been traveling all, all over Manitoba to, to our communities, but I, I, I reflect upon 20 years of, of this work and, and you know, I, I jump on a, a plane to go to a, a remote community and who's, Who's flying up with me are, are, are tradespeople from the south, and, and I always I always wondered to myself why why aren't our students why aren't they the the, the technicians the 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 tradespeople the 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 line or the the line workers the the workers in hydro or mining or forestry and and, and that was that was always a 
a big part of, of um, I guess my, my personal perspectives is, is I wanted our students to have the opportunity to get these jobs as well. And um, so they, they needed not only uh, traditional knowledge and, and what that taught them, and, and that taught, teaches them about who they are, which is, which is very important because if, if you don't know who you are, how do you overcome hurdles in life? So they, they need to know that. They need to have this understanding of, of, of uh, where they came from. Um, they need to, uh, to, to know how their communities and, uh, feel and, and think, the, 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 the culture of it. Um, but they also need to know and, and have purpose in, in life as well. So in, in terms of, of uh, their, their skills and, and their being able to, to get jobs later in, in life. Science to me was, was always an a important way to, to obtain these high technical jobs in the north or any, any jobs. We, we look at, uh, at pretty well any job in, in, in modern society now that uh, you, would, you would be hard pressed to, to find a job that doesn't need um, science and mathematics skills. So to, to me, and, and when it came up north, I, I jump on the, that plane, like I said, and, and, and I look at the pilots that are, are flying these planes to, to the remote communities, and, and I always said to myself, where are our students? Where are, are, are the, the Cree, the Anishinaabe pilots? And, and, and I could never understand that. And, and it, it, it's, it's an important point that, that, um, that Science, mathematics, technology is, is, is a, a focal point in, in modern living. So those skills are, are what we need to uh, prosper. Um, that, that's one level of, of, um, of my perspective on, on how we survive nowadays. Now, so how do we, we, we get purpose? Well. Jobs is, is not only the, 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 the main point in life. It's, uh, it, it's do, do our students have interests in, in the sciences? And, and they, they absolutely do. Um, it's, uh, and, and their interests are, are as, as wide and a variety as, as we have for each individual. Some are interested in, in uh, in, in just basic sciences and on, on asking questions about, about their, their own um, communities and, and how things work. Whereas some students are, are much more uh, interested beyond that, the chemistry, the, the, the physics of, of how things, hydro for instance, I, I see all of that all the time. So the, there, there is a lot of interest out there from students, even interest in, in coding with robotics. And, and so it's not just um, traditional knowledge that, that they're interested in. They're, they, are they interested in traditional knowledge? Absolutely. But we can't just focus on that as well. They, their interest is, is, is why does, there are students, like, like, I, like I say. I think that's the, a, a main part when we look at uh, who they are as, as, as a person. Um, it, it's not just about academics, it's, it's about uh, emotional growth as well. And uh, so what does that mean to them and, and how does science come into it? Well, I, I think if, if there's a, a, a passion that, that ignites emotion and to me, it's, it's about uh, finding their passion with, with what they have. And it may not be science, and, and, and I know that, and, and uh, it may be music, it, 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 may be, it may be liberal arts. But if, if it's science, then, uh, and, and if I see that passion in them, well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to, uh, to, to develop that in, in programming. And like I say, it, 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 what that means to them could, could mean anything. What I see with, uh, 
with the education in, in the future is is uh, we 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 are at a at a point a very interesting point in in uh, we've we've had uh, I, I guess one or two generations of of uh, our communities having um, their means to determine what their education is the local local uh, Local authorities, I guess, started in, in, in the seventies, and we had uh, Wabang as, as a guide to, to where we should be going in, in indigenous education in, in Manitoba. It was, and it uh, it 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 is a, a journey for sure. Um, we we have to have language and, and culture for sure. Very very important. Because if we don't have that, uh, how can we claim to be uh, uh, a unique people? For for one thing, um, so it's, that's and and it's our identity. So it it it, it is important. Now, in in, in terms of, of science, that's where that that uh, grounding, that base, has to come from. Is is our our identity. Um, but it, it, it goes from there, and it, it, it's the foundation of, of where students uh, go in their lives. So um, we have right now very, uh, very low participation rates in, in uh, science and, you know, the, the STEM area, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and and, and I, as I say, our, our, our modern world is, is so heavily dependent on it. And I think, you know, the, uh, this, this path that, and, and journey that we're, we're, we're on, we, we do show, or I try to show um, our, our students that, yeah, um, science is, is, you have an opportunity to, to uh, to learn learn more in science if, if, if that's one of your passions um, and, and that's where again where that that science fairing come in in the past they they may not have had a lot of experience in in, in doing science um, when I when I first started yeah 20 years ago 30 or almost 30 years ago um, there wasn't a, a lot of, of science going on in in uh, in our classrooms over the years. It, it in in the science fairing has helped. There's uh, a lot more interest in in doing science in in our classrooms. Uh, it, it's not just because of, of science fairing. It's it's because of uh, specialists at, at, and facilitators at MF NERC and, and now the school system. Um, so. It, uh, it, it is a journey, um, and uh, hopefully we, we have more, more students getting into the sciences. So what, what I see for, for the future is, is, uh, is growth in science, and, and uh, it, it, it may be a struggle at times, but because science programming is, is very expensive, and, uh, and may, hopefully the, the school system with, uh, with Better funding for for First Nation communities that uh, hopefully uh, we we do see a lot more uh, this level of, of science programming increase that uh, what it has been in the past. Um, money is not everything, and but it it uh, but with science programming, uh, you need the equipment, you need uh, resources for for uh, for teaching science and and. We, uh, we're, we're just starting out with, with those kind of things.